morning all all right so starting off today with news and a career video all wrapped up in one nathan gerby has officially retired from the national hockey league he is joining the nashville predators hockey operations department he will be a forwards development coach should be very good at that he was drafted 142nd overall in 2005 by the buffalo sabers and was drafted late because he was five foot four and being five foot four it has its challenges coming from somebody who's five foot four because you will always be dealing with people taller than you people who are stronger than you you will always be dealing with the the fact that you'll probably be pushed to the back a bit so i am sure that nathan gerby throughout his career towards getting to the nhl at times had to prove to coaches trainers whoever else that he could do the job that he could go out there and he could be um, a National Hockey League player. So the fact that he played as many games as he did in the NHL, I think is remarkable. He doesn't make it to the NHL until 8 09 so almost four years after his draft, but 10 games played, one assist for the Buffalo Sabres. 2009-2010, he has another 10 games for the Sabres, two goals, three assists, five points. In the playoffs, he adds a goal and an assist for two points in two games. He had good offensive instincts, but again, any team that would be putting him in the top six would be saying, well... I don't know what his size, right? You know, that that size, maybe we need a bigger player. And then in the bottom six, then you have kind of the same problem. 2010-2011, he plays 64 games in the NHL, arguably his best offensive season. 16 goals, 15 assists, 31 points. He adds two goals in seven games in the playoffs. So this is when Buffalo's doing pretty well. He's with Buffalo when the doing pretty well falls off. 2011-2012. Play 62 games for the Sabres, 6 goals, 19 assists, 25 points. 2012-2013, again with the Sabres, 42 games, 5 goals, 5 assists, 10 points. But at this stage, I mean, his offensive numbers had dropped off. The Buffalo Sabres decide they're not going to re-sign him. So on July 26th, he's signed as an unrestricted free agent by the Carolina Hurricanes. And he plays the most games he's played in his career uh, to that point and from going forward. 81 games, most he play in a season. 16 goals, 15 assists, 31 points. And again, as a man of small stature, I was I was impressed that he was back in the National Hockey League and that he was playing all 80, well, almost all 82 games played 81. 2014-2015, uh, 78 games played, 10 goals, 18 assists, 28 points. So his offense drops off a bit there. And then 2015-2016, it drops off again. 47 games, 3 goals, 4 assists, 7 points. And he plays his way out of the lineup. So July 1st of 2016, he signed as an unrestricted free agent by the New York Rangers. You will notice there's no Rangers logo on the board as he did not play a game for the Rangers. The Rangers actually terminated that contract on October 11th. And October 14th, he signs in the Swiss League. So he goes and plays overseas. And this is where you would totally understand if Nathan Gerby just plays overseas, doesn't come back over. Because you're going to be looking at riding the bus, AHL kind of action. Well, 2017-2018, he does come back into the NHL. He signs as an unrestricted free agent January 24th of 2018 with Columbus Blue Jackets. Plays two games for them. Kind of an emergency situation, right? He signed during the year. So he plays the two games, doesn't get a point. And then 2019-2020, he was a call-up. During a, a, a rough time for the Columbus Blue Jackets when it came to injuries. Plays 30 games, 4 goals, 6 assists, 10 points. And again, it's just the fact that he, he didn't quit before. He kept playing, even though he's being cut and contract terminated. He just keeps playing. So he plays two playoff games in 2020. Does not record a point in those two playoff games, but he does get into them. 2020-2021, what would prove to be his final go in the NHL. Played 9 games. Had a goal, two assists, and three points. And as much as I might have argued, I hope they'd give him another chance, he did not end up getting another chance. And again, there's only, you know, so much he's going to be able to do to prove himself. He ends up playing 435 games in the NHL, 63 goals, 88 assists, 151 points. In the playoffs, he played 11 games, three goals, one assist, four points. And at five foot four, 435 games is remarkable. Uh, 85 points recorded by Nathan Gerby in 108 games for Cleveland in the American Hockey League, where he was seen over the last couple of years as a mentor to some of the young forwards for the Columbus Blue Jackets organization playing down in Cleveland. Thus, the Cleveland jersey that I'm wearing. Uh, and again, at five foot four in 2020, when he fought Travis Sanheim, who was almost a foot taller, I, again, there was a lot of discussions about 
wow, look, the, you know, this little guy in Sandheim's having trouble with him. Well, yeah, he's not used to fighting somebody who's a foot shorter than him, so you're probably going to have problems with it. Uh, you're just not used to that kind of thing. Uh, 392 career hits. So he wasn't shy out there either. He did throw hits. Uh, 109 blocked shots. And of course, there's a famous photo of Gerby next to uh, Zdeno Chara, which really isn't fair because Chara's too tall to be a human. So there's that problem. Uh, he did earn some some decent money. According to Cap Friendly, $10,225,008 in his career. So you see, you can earn over $10 million in your career, even if you're not an NHL regular through most of it, just by sticking with it. Uh, and again, you know, Nashville now has him as a player development coach. I think he'll do well in that role. And he also had 109 block shots in his career. Not bad. But uh, again, I'm sure he was told throughout his career he was too small. Sorry, too small. Going to have to go in another direction. And again, and I understand that from a National Hockey League perspective. Um, I just, I salute him for, for keeping it up and, and just sticking with it. When, again, other players might just say, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll throw in the towel. So he didn't do so until today. And it's not really throwing in the towel when you're joining an organization to say, hey, I'll help you guys develop your forwards. So all the best to him. We'll see if he moves his way up the organization in Nashville. Uh, I would I would say he always seemed like a smart player out there, which is part of being smaller. You have to kind of think the game at a high level because you're a lot smaller than everybody else. So you got to worry more about the pucks to the face than somebody else might hit the other guy in the chest, might hit you right in the right in the right in the noggin here. So you got to watch for that. Anyways, there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.